In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to edit like Netganjala in CapCut PC, just like this. So let's get right into this. All right, so now the first thing that we wanna do is put our footage into the timeline. Um, I just recorded this, so I will just crop it a bit because we don't need the start. And now what we wanna do is first of all, change the ratio because we're gonna edit a short. So it's not 16 by nine, but nine by 16. Um, and we do that by clicking here and then just clicking on nine by 16. And then of course we gotta adjust the size of this image so that it fits the whole screen just like this. So this should do it, this looks good. Now the next thing we wanna add is the text. For that we'll just drag in the default text right here, make it bigger. And now we wanna change the font because Nat Gonzala doesn't use the system font, he uses a font and we're trying to get as close as possible to Nat Gonzala's style. So now we'll just go in here, scroll down, scroll down, till you find the Helvetica font, that's how it's called. Um, and this comes actually pretty close to Nat Gonzala's font. And then we'll make it big, so click on a B. So now we'll just make it bigger um, and we're gonna write something in here. I'm gonna write call edits in here now and make sure that it is pretty much like this now we're gonna drag it down a bit i'm just gonna place it here and now what we want to do is duplicate this just by ctrl c and ctrl v and then we will drag it down here inside this text we're gonna write something like insane record just like that and now we of course have to adjust it just like this and we can place it right underneath that. Now the second text here, we're gonna change the color to something like yellow. So I'll just select this yellow right here, I think. And now what we wanna do, of course, is add some glows to both of the texts. So we'll just go down here, scroll down, click on glow, pull down the intensity to something. Now we don't want the normal glow. Something like 20. And we'll do the same thing for the first one so just go down here to glow and put it down to 20 just like that also my crib was really really lit because of my white t-shirt so i just went into the video options adjustments and quickly put down the brightness because i think this looks way better now now we want that second text to come in with an animation. So that's really simple. Just go up in here to animation and we wanna use the animation that is called zoom out to. So it's right here. Just click on that. And now we need to make it around four seconds long. Just like that. Now the next thing we wanna add is a cash explosion. So for that, we will just quickly go on YouTube and search for something like cash explosion green screen. Um, and then you can just take any one of these cache explosions. So let's see what fits. I actually think the first one is pretty good. Um, so we'll just click on that one. And now we will take the YouTube link and go to something like YouTube to MP4. Something like this. Um, and just paste in the link. Click on download. And now we will just drag this money explosion into our timeline. So we will drag this right beneath here. And then we will first of all have to remove the green screen. So we'll just go in here, cut out chroma key, and then use the color picker to remove that green screen. And now it should just be the money. Just like that. So we'll put that right in here. And now what we also have to add is like some, a little bit of black contrast down here. So for that, we'll just go into library, get this black background, drag it right here, then go in here and make sure to freeze it, delete these two, and then make sure to drag it all over this place. Just like that. And now we wanna make it bigger so it covers the whole screen. And we want to mask it next with a horizontal mask that we rotate just like this. Put it down here and now use this 
this arrow button right here to quickly just let it do some some contrast down there just like this now if you look at the money it's pretty much just like these white dollar signs but net gonzala actually uses some green money so what we can do is go in here go to um go to adjustments and then curves and then we're going to scroll down to the green curve and we can drag it a bit like this to make the money more green something like this now another thing we can do to make it look even better is to add a little blur so you don't have to do that but you can go to effects and then just click this blur and drag it on to this money right here so i will put it down to something like four that should do now we want to edit the money even further for that we will just quickly drag this down because we want it down here the money um something like this we can even drag the text up a bit maybe now we want the money to come in when the second text comes in and we can see that right here on the arrow so we will just adjust it accordingly um so that the money starts when the animation is done for the second text now if we play that this looks good but we can even add something like if we add another mask um horizontal mask then we can rotate it and make sure to fade it in a bit let me see where we can see the money best just like that and now it should look pretty good pretty simple now for the background videos we will just quickly get some footage from the internet so for the background footage that's in here we are just gonna go on something called mix kit and we will just quickly search for some footage it's free okay so now i have two clips here so i will just import them in here real quick just like that now we can disable the first one um real quick with clicking on v on your keyboard and then we will first start out working with this first one what we want to do is we want to mask it so we want to click on the rectangle mask and make sure to select this part that we want something like this should do so now we want to round the corners a bit so we're just going to drag it up to something like 30. This should look pretty good. Now click back on basic and now we're just gonna move it up here on this side of the screen. And now we're gonna enable the down video again. Enable that again with clicking on V. For that one, I will just use the crop ratio. This is a different way to do it um, because that just makes it even better. I didn't think of that before, but you just crop it and then you have a perfect, um, then the footage is, is, looks perfect and you just have to mask it again and now again we want to round the corners to something like 30. now drag it up here on the other side and what i forgot to say is you obviously have to scale them down so that they fit on the screen so you can scale them to something like 50 percent or 45 percent now we want to make sure that these are both the same length so i will just drag them to make them the same length and now we also want to edit the style a bit so we want to put some effects on here that it has the same lines as net gonzalas edit so we're going to go and fact um and then on effect church for tv lines and now we will just want to drag and drop this on here on our clip now we of course want to edit it so we are going to turn the twist down to zero and we're going to put this texture to like 45 that should be great now of course we want to do the same thing with the other clip so just drag and drop this on here again and do the same procedure now of course we want the videos to come in from the side so what we're gonna do is first of all we have to put them a bit more um, in front here something like five frames and there we will put our playhead and now we can make sure to put them right here and now we will go to animation and animate them so we're going to do an in animation and as you guys can see this one is on the left side we want to slide it right so it comes in from the side the duration to something like three milliseconds 
and this one we want to slide left and of course we want to put three milliseconds too make sure they align down here just like that they come in from both sides perfectly now we do want to add another effect and that is called play pendulum so i will just quickly get it right here right here i favorited that so we're just gonna drag it in here into a timeline not on any footage but just into a timeline now we want to make sure this aligns with our footage and we of course again want to change the default settings so we're gonna put twist down to something like five sharpen down two and the speed also down to something like 12. now we now i just quickly duplicated the pay pendulum and now we want to make some compound clips out of this so we want to select them both and then click on create compound clip same with these two so just create compound clips out of them now of course these are placed in front of my head now and we want to change that so for that we are just gonna go down here on our original footage and duplicate that and now what we want to do is go in here pretty simple cut out and then click on auto cut out now we of course want to put them behind me so we're just gonna drag them down here just like that and now these clips are right behind me we want to make sure they come in at frame 5 again though and now they come right in behind me while I sit there talking and all I have and all the layers are pretty perfect and now if we just look at that real quick i think this is a really good edit just like nat gonzala does his edits so yeah this is actually pretty simple if you get into it and i hope you guys followed this tutorial along and if you want more nice videos like tutorial videos then definitely make sure to leave a like and to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video